What's up everyone, my name is Zach and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be starting another episode of What the Did I Just Read? On my channel, I do this about once a month where I pick a new release that I think might be shocking or twisty in some way and I do a vlog of me reading it. And sometimes they're more shocking than others. Sometimes I've had books come out of nowhere and be like, that is the most shocking thing that I have ever read. Um, evidence in this season of plenty of those. So yeah, this is like episode eight or nine, I think. I used to keep track and then I was like, I do this every month and I'm losing track. But yeah, welcome to the latest episode where I'm going to be reading Home is Where the Bodies Are. I'm going to unbox this for you guys because um, this is actually a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition and it's very cool. So before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you enjoy what I do here, subscribe to my channel. helps me out a ton. A like on the video goes a long way and I would love to know, have you read this book? Do you want to read this book? And then maybe for the heck of it, like what is the most shocking book that you've ever read. All of you that subscribe to my channel and engage with it really helps me get new releases for review, which is what my channel is all about. So thank you guys so much for doing that. And um, on with the video now. So Home is Where the Bodies Are by Geneva Ross. I think that's how you say her, or Rose, sorry. I think that's how you say her first name, but I've read one other book by this author. It's called I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it on the screen here. Um, I really enjoyed that. I think I gave it like 2.5 stars, but in reflection, it's more like a three star. It's very interesting. It's about a girl who goes to stay in this remote cabin with this guy who the lore behind him is that his last wife like disappeared and everybody in the community is like, well, what happened with that? So there's a lot of weird things around him. And then at the same time, he doesn't trust her for some reasons. And so it's like this whole like, will they, won't they sort of murder situation, you know what I mean? And this book got a lot of like mixed reviews. A lot of people didn't like it, but I loved it. 2.5 stars does not do it justice. I think I just didn't sit long enough and think about it, but the ending blew me away. Like I, I just, I really enjoyed it. I had a really good time with it. It was very like cheesy at some points. It was definitely a popcorn thriller, but I liked it. So I did want to read before I did this video, I wanted to read all of her books. I just did not have enough time for that. So maybe in the future, depending on how this video goes or this book. Um, but yeah, I have the Barnes & Noble exclusive signed edition, which sold out very quickly. So it is in this like VHS case situation. You see this? I love this. I love this. Um, and then, yeah, this is what the cover actually looks like. And it's like a naked hardback, which is very cool. And then, and then, and then, and then it is signed. Isn't that cool? Very cool, right? Okay. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, I don't, I guess I'm not going to put it back in the cool VHS. Oh. have to give one of my dogs medication and I did that before I started filming so that was just my reminder for that sorry about that um yeah so because I'm gonna start reading this today I'm gonna leave this up here um maybe I'll like put it behind me situation yeah oh you can't even see it because I'm sitting here anyways um what's this book about that's a really great question I'm glad you asked um I don't actually know. I know the general premise. So I'll tell you guys that like what kind of hooked me and got me excited to read it is that it's about these siblings who their parents die. I think there's three of them. Their parents die and they go back to their old house to kind of clean it out and sort through all of their goods and things. And when they're doing that, they find a home video and uh, they find a bunch of home videos and they start watching them. Hence the like VHS tape, which the like nostalgia horror in me is like loving this um but and they start watching them because they're like oh we can watch us as kids again and blah 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 and what they discover is that there's a video or several at least one of their dad all bloodied and like it looks really creepy and none of them remember that night none of them remember what happened and so i think they keep watching the vhs tapes to figure out what happened like that whole premise is the most what the bleep thing i've read in a while um honestly i've been in a reading slump recently and so i'm really hoping that this book will help me with that and it's not super duper long like oh there's pictures okay maybe i should not look at that because oh my god oh my god i'm gonna get spoiled the back of this is very interesting okay i don't know i don't know how long it is because there was interesting things in the back of this book that i don't i don't want to know about and i did not get spoiled i just recognized that if i kept looking i might get spoiled man that was close good thing i'm vigilant about not being spoiled okay yeah, so um, 
I'm really excited. And I think that this is gonna be a twisty turny thriller. It's not very long. Typically what I do in these videos is I will check in at the halfway mark next um, and let you guys know what I'm thinking so far. And then at the end, I will fully review the book. Rating prediction, I think that this is gonna be a five star. I also think it has the potential to be a new favorite, which on my channel, a new favorite just means it's like a six star. It's above all the five stars. And at the end of the year, it kind of helps me narrow down what my favorite books of the year were. Um, so yeah, I think it could be a five or a six star. If it's below that, I'm going to feel very sad and very let down. But this premise, I think, is too good to mess up. So fingers crossed. Um, I'm going to go start reading this book and then I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Hi friends, it is currently Tuesday after work and I have finished Home is Where the Bodies Are. So I came upstairs to film this clip and I realized that I left the book downstairs and I'm far too lazy to go back down and get it. So I do have this right here. So I'll hold this up because it's still the cover and honestly this is a lot prettier than the actual cover. Also, I have the window open and there are birds, I think having like a little bird meeting outside. So I am I hope you enjoy the little bird ambience in the background. Typically I try to keep that closed, but it's just a little bit too hot right now. And then also who doesn't like a little bird ambience? Anyways, I have finished this book. I did tell you in the last clip that I was going to update you halfway through. However, A, I was really busy, but B, more importantly, I can always make time for updating vlogs. There was not a lot to say that wasn't that wouldn't be a spoiler that I was like, okay, all of this needs to wait until the end. This is a very, very fast book. It's only about 250 pages and the basic premise is the entire book. So I described the premise to you guys at the beginning. That's really all you need to know. In fact, go in knowing as little bit, as little as possible. My overall rating for this book at the end of it is four stars. I think it's a very solid, fun mystery thriller. Um, it's very fast paced. It's a popcorn thriller. The writing is very one dimensional. It's quick. It's kind of flat, but that's not really a bad thing. It's just, this is the kind of book that like, if you just want something fast, like a fast paced thriller to get into and pass time and for it to be entertaining, this is going to be the book for you. Like pick this up. I wrote in my notes that this book is for a friend, uh, for fans of Freedom McFadden. So the, I think that's how you say her last name, but she wrote the Housemaid series. I think I haven't read the Housemaid series, but I've read one of her other books. Actually, it's kind of similar to this. It's called, um, shoot. I can't remember what that book is called. I'll put it on the screen for you guys here, but, um, it, the writing very much reminds me of that because it's kind of shallow and surface level. The characters are pretty one dimensional and they serve certain like purposes and types throughout the story. And it it didn't ruin the book. It didn't make it better. It didn't make it worse. I just saw it for what it was. And I think that's really important when we pick up books, because if we're expecting like a high level of literary writing or content that's just not gonna happen in all books and honestly i don't always want it to this is the kind of book that you pick up when you don't really want to think a lot so we follow the three siblings and one of them like take took care of their mother as she was dying then there's so that's beth and then there's nicole who is a recovering addict and has kind of been like the black sheep of the family and there's michael who's the one who kind of escaped the family and um, like made a successful life of himself in a career. This story is very interesting because it goes back and forth in time. So we have those three perspectives in the present day. And then we get the perspective from 1999 from the, the VHS tape of her mom telling the story of what's happening on the VHS tape. Before I read this book, I saw a review that said, I wish that they would have used more of the VHS tape. And I agree, but disagree. The VHS 
video is used, but only for one moment. And then as we're going back and forth in time, we are finding out more, but it's mostly going back to her mom's perspective and kind of what happened in the family when they saw what they saw in the video. You're not like watching it unfold on the videotape, which is what I had hoped for. I'd hoped that we would get more scenes like the family would sit down in the present, put the video in and then kind of been like glued to the TV waiting to see what was going to happen next. That's not what happens in this book. And I think that people might be disappointed because it very much seems like it is. But really, the VHS type tape is used to like expose something. And then we slowly uncover what happened. I would say the ending was interesting. It wasn't shocking. I There wasn't like a what the bleep moment. I wasn't like, oh, what just happened? That did not happen at all. Um, but I did still feel satisfied. I was like, oh, okay, like, makes sense. That's an interesting conclusion. It was an exciting end, but there was nothing shocking. I would not call this book shocking. I think I gave it four stars because like it was enjoyable. I never didn't want to pick it up. I was interested in it. I wanted to know how it ended, but it wasn't shocking in any way. Um, yeah, so four stars. I don't know that I would read it again. I mean, maybe, especially because I have this really cool edition. At the back of this edition, I don't know if it is like this in any of the other ones, but we actually get some pictures of Geneva Ross's Rose, Rose, is hometown because the story is based off of her hometown. And she basically wrote a letter at the end of the book about why she chose to do this in her hometown and what home means to her and like just commentary on home in general. And that was really interesting. And I'm glad that this edition had that. It was very cool to kind of get to know her more as, as an author and see the pictures and really made me reflect on like what my hometown means to me because I still live in my hometown. I'm going to be 29 in a few days and I still live in my hometown. And it's a place I always thought that I would escape. But as I've gotten older, like I actually love it here. Of course, I want to travel and I wouldn't mind living somewhere else later in life. But like those escaping feelings that we have as a teenager for... I, I don't know, it kind of went away from me as I became more of myself in my hometown. So I did like the discussion of like home and family. And yeah, all in all, this is a really good book. I think if you're looking for a fun time, then you should pick this up, especially if you're a fan of like popcorn, fast thrillers, Freedom McFadden sort of situation, book talk kind of things. I don't know, like this screams book talk to me for some reason. But yeah, uh, wasn't very what the bleep, but I'm glad that I read it. Um, it was an interesting concept. I will say it was a unique concept and it wasn't like other thrillers that I've read, but also it wasn't very different from other thrillers that I've read. I don't know. It, it's hard to describe. I enjoyed it. I gave it four stars and I've gotten a lot more picky with my reviews recently. So four stars means that I truly did enjoy this book and I would recommend it to you all. That's a long winded way of saying it was a good book and I'm moving on to the next one now. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, I do want to say a very special thank you to the Mosto Gosto crew who support my channel every month through the channel membership. You guys are amazing and you make a big difference on my channel. If you're interested in supporting what I do here on YouTube and helping me get access to more reviews and books and things like that, please check out my channel membership linked below. There's also an amazing community of people in that channel membership as well. Also, if you're interested in a larger community of readers, I do have a free Discord for everyone that's linked down below as well. And to end it all, I do want to say a very special thank you to you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Here we go again, you think by now I know better. Locked in my head, romanticizing forever. <laughs>